Ah, hello! Welcome, we're back after some brief technical difficulties. Uh, here I am in my work clothes. Progi Frenzy says, like a bald eagle sunning itself after a cheeky dinner of carrion and garbage, but in a good way, it's Piotr Bizzle. I'm glad you emphasized in a good way. I appreciate it. Uh, we're back, we're playing some more Sparklight. I set up the stream wrong at first, but here we are, we figured it out. Um, you remember this game? It's a roguelike. We're in slot three, apparently. And we're playing, uh, it's like a Zelda game. Alright, here we go. Getting back into it, so we'd just been on a run last time, and I believe, uh, if my controller would work, no? Oh, this is an exciting stream. Okay, now does it work. Okay, great. Do I remember how to do anything? L look, we have $26, so let's just go out in the in the world. Uh, we may be in for a non-treat here, as, uh, as we figure out how this works again. I've got my crossbow, I got my little hammer or wrench, okay, 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 okay. We gotta clear out the grass, Zelda style, let's not forget. Yeah, so what did we do last time? We we did a little dungeon, I think, and got killed by the boss. But prior to that, uh, we did a little quest. Wait, right, we reunited two people who were looking for each other. Ooh, get a bunch of these pink things. Give me that. Right now, I mean, being real, our quest is just to get as much money as we can. Just like real life. Increases maximum health by a quarter heart. Okay, cool. We got another thing. Another badge or sticker or whatever it is. That's good. We can apply that when we are out of here next. Okay, nothing else to do down here. We're right into it today. Having one of these fun days where, uh... I, I worked, and then I took a nap, and then I did some more work, and now I'm here, and after this, I'm gonna do some more work! So, very much to look forward to. That's my excuse for why the uh, title was wrong at the beginning. Yeah, we don't have anything to blow that up with. What do we got here? Are those bombs? A scatter bomb, great. Uh, get exploded. Soul Foundry says, Piotr, happy stream! Hey, welcome, Soul Foundry! Welcome, welcome, welcome! We're back with more sparklight! Oh, my. Ra my reach was not cr quite what I thought there. That's okay, we got this dude. We got an extra heart, I'm pretty sure, compared to before. These guys shoot. Okay, on diagonal, that's right. Oh, can I hit them when they're underground? No. That was not a good way to spend two of our hearts. Admittedly. Or three, if you prefer. Maybe we'll get something to heal us in here? No. Epiphany Boom Balloon. Hey, Arrakis! Uh, thank you so much for the sub! For 16 months! That's crazy! And Arrakis says, Oh yeah! Oh yeah, we are back with more Sparklight. Welcome! I just gotta not get killed here. Look, we said this first run was gonna be a wash because we haven't done this in a bit. Let's get this uh, range trash out of here. So he also gets stuck in the, um, the, the pudding or whatever. That's good to know. I like that. I like games where uh, enemies are kind of constrained by the same rules that you are. Interesting, we don't have a good way to get up there. We do have our bow and arrow, we shouldn't forget about it. 
So can I like slide into this pipe? There must be a way. That must be how we get up there. Arrakis says, I like how the enemies can hit each other and stuff too. Agreed, yeah. It makes it, it just adds like a feeling of kind of consistency. I, I never like it when enemies play by different rules. So it's nice to see. Nice to see, we got more bombs. Should we practice the bow and arrow? Oh, that's not how it works. How does it work? It's super effective! Oh my. You know what this game actually makes me long for? Is it makes me want to play Conan Chop Chop, but I also wish that Conan Chop Chop was a better game. Maybe mainly. Arrakis says, I feel that sort of thing is less common in 2D games for some reason. I know what you mean, actually. Maybe just because 2D games are are from a different or tend to be from a different time or tend to pull from traditions of a different time, but I don't know. And Ranguat says, hey, I just here a minute. Welcome, Ranguat. Should we go in here? Look, we only got one heart anyway. Oh, we can't. Okay, it's forbidden. Well look, we got one musical note, boy. We're gonna kill the range man first. Oh boy. Got him. Oh, I was stuck behind the thing. Ranguat says, what's less common in 2D games? Uh, having kind of consistent rules or consistent systems among enemies and the player. So like enemies being able to friendly fire each other or being, having, being affected in the same way by terrain hazards and stuff. Brogy Frenzy says, I don't know, but we're here to cheer up Pyotr because he has to work again after this. It's true. It's my fault. It's 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 my fault. I didn't get enough done today. I spent too much time on the wrong things. And now I'm behind on the actual important things. Bad time management. Okay, what have you got for sale? How much money do I have? Not very much. Soulfinder says, you work is for chumps. That is technically true, but listen, I gotta do it. And Froggy Frenzy says, so help that merchant get spark light so he can feed his starving family. Also true. Necessary. How do I... I mean, we don't really need to combine these right now. I think it's that machine in the corner, right? Here? That's upgrade. Don't I do that here? Soul Foundry says, I did nine hours of work today and made bank. Sometimes working is good. I guess that's nice. That's that's a longer work day, day than I like, but... Oh, I don't have enough money to fuse it. I got ya. I'm too poor. Okay, understood. Rackus says, last time you spent too much combining and couldn't afford bomb? Oh, you know what? We done it again. That's okay. That first run, this whole first everything is a wash, so it's fine. We're gonna head down for more spoils. Ranguet says, I think 3D games, it's easier to imagine that, I guess, but it's also not that crazy common in 3D games. That's true. It's 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 uncommon enough that like I appreciate it when I do see it. Um, also, top-down games have the biggest example of consistent it systems, with the likes of Don't Starve, Space Station 13, Dwarf Fortress, etc. One of my friends uh, asked me this weekend if he should play Don't Starve, and I was like, eh. I don't- I was like, listen, it's a really good version of what it is, but it's not my favorite. You know, you're gonna want to play with a guide, or a friend who knows, or be willing to do a lot of trial and error. And my friend took my non-recommendation as a recommendation, and then played 10 hours of it in two days. So, he's having a good time. He knew. He knew to not listen to what I said. When I said, I don't really think it's- you should play it. He was like, that is the indication that I should play it. And he was right. So there you go. Good story. So Foundry says, I may I was making bonus by lunch today, so staying late was worth it. I made $25 for each lead a set when I'm at bonus. Ooh. Okay, so you get that special bonus money. Bonus time. That's 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 not so bad then. Um Progi Frenzy says you should stream work. Caught an exception. Oh yeah! Man, I caught... I don't I don't know if I could talk about this. <laughs> what did I do just just the other day? Um, I found in some of our legacy code a broad accept. 
where something just swallows every error, but the error it was swallowing was like also not supposed to be raised. So it was this it was this weird thing where like there's a, an error that goes off when nothing bad is actually happening. And then something else, a, a, a try accept, a broad try accept, catches the error and swallows it and sends it to our error reporting thing, but then lets the program continue along. <laughs> so it's like, oh, it's bad, but fine, I guess. Uh, <laughs> Froggy Prince says, oh no. And Araki says, I love two bugs that cancel each other out and make things <laughs> appear totally fine. That's where it was, because we, um,. Yeah, we, we, we're trying to have fewer noisy errors, or low signal errors, uh, and that was one that I looked into, and I was like, oh, is this, is this bad, but fine? Uh, so that's my, that's my try accept story. Let me jump back. Araki says, I can't remember if this has been asked before, are you going to play Wild Frost? I've sunk like 30 hours into it already, it seems like your thing. And Arrakis says, Hype Train, we're finishing the sprint! <laughs> nice. Um, I would play Wild Frost, let's put it on the list. Yeah, it does seem like my jam. I, I watched a, uh, well, no, I watched way back, like over a year ago, maybe? In the last year, perhaps, I watched somebody playing Wild Frost, and then I saw that same person had more videos of it, but I haven't watched them since then. I, I think we should play it. Um, Rangwet says, I've recently been getting into it again. Don't starve. My recommendation is if you like hands-off, harsh survival and discovery, you'll love it. If you can't put up with vague guidance and lack of directions and goals, maybe not so good. I think that's a, a fair assessment. Araki says, love the experience. How is this working? It's clearly wrong. I guess I'll fix it. Oh no, everything else is broken. <laughs> exactly. Rangbot says, also speaking of Don't Starve, a Don't Starve Together community would be great. It's such a chaotic and freeing online experience. Freeing is an interesting word um, that I don't really hear to describe games much, but I like that. Community server, I mean. Let me look into what it would take. I did like when we had a community Minecraft server, for instance, so maybe more community servers would be more fun. Oh my god, I'm a fool. <laughs> alright, alright, I understand. Look, we spent one... And Progi Frenzy says, like, dying frees you from life. True! Not recommended. But technically true. And dying and don't starve will also free you from life, because you'll, you'll have to start your whole game over. And you'll say, oh my god, those 20 hours of my life just... How is it so hard this time? We did this fine before the same room Rangwat says it's freeing in the lack of goals and a lot uh, to do allows you to just fuck off and do whatever you want and face the consequences that doesn't feel like <laughs> I guess face I love I love you know living by the sword the whole dying by the sword part I'm not is, is keen on Doing what I want, awesome. Facing the consequences. Mm. Oh, interesting. I can jump those little ledges. You know what? I don't even need to. I don't need to deal with that. Let's just fight easy enemies. What am I doing? Musepot says, Me sowing. Fuck yeah! Me reaping. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Wait a minute. Uh, what do we got? What did we just pick up? What's in my stuff pack? A pop light. Okay, great. And a hardy boost. Fortifies your defense, or defense, reducing the amount of damage you take for a short duration. And Rangwat says, and as many modes, including a non-roguelike mode. Oh, interesting. What makes it non-roguelike? Do you come back when you die? Arrakis says, insert the coming home absolutely twisted with an armful of swords meme here. I actually don't know that meme. And Rangwa says, you can endlessly respawn and spawn. I actually kind of would like that. I, I know that's a little bit baby mode, but for a community server, that actually sounds nice. Oh, we need the thing. I, I don't have an angle on this. May, let's see, let's see. Will this do something? Ah, I don't need an angle. 
I make my own angles. And right now, the angle is between me and the ground. It's a... It's a cute. Oh my god. That was very satisfying, actually. And there you go, you get the bronze gadget power patch. Increases gadget damage by a small amount. Alright, alright, alright. And uh, Rocky says, uh, forget Cheeky Nando's, that's a Cheeky Hanzo's. An excellent Kill Bill reference. Alright, I'm gonna look at this. Blob, the absolutely twisted coming home with swords tarot card tweet? <laughs> alright, 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 alright. Alright, alright, alright. Let's see this. We can, we can fix this. You know what? I gotta set up some more scenes for the new... I was, I was cautious about, you know, investing heavily in this OBS setup. And by investing heavily, I mean spending ten more minutes to make more scenes. Uh, so we don't, we don't have that many, uh... We don't have enough scenes to have, like, a separate Microsoft Edge scene yet. So our, we don't have nice transitions yet. Anyway. The Absolutely Twisted coming home with swords tarot card tweet. <clears throat> tarot card tweet, even. Me absolutely twisted coming home with Lord of Swords. Me waking up the next day with a room full of swords. Nice. Nice. I like it. Oh, yeah, see, I just tried to do a transition, but it doesn't actually work when I do that. Okay. Um... Rangwet says, uh, though, do remember that other players already in the roguelike mode can revive you. There's balanced stuff in place with losing maximum health and using items to fix it. Okay. So far, says, puzzle genius, presumably to us getting across here. Araki says, for your meme edification, Peter. It's not much, a, so much a meme as a funny now deleted tweet, I guess. Is that what a meme is? Who can say? I think the definition of a meme is broad enough that it, it probably includes that. And Rangwet says, not gonna lie, having other players sometimes feels like a debuff. Uh, when you get lazy and expect other players did stuff, uh, and before you know it, there's no food and no one got gears. <laughs> and Progi Frenzy says, it recalls two monks invent art. What is the oldest meme? I feel like, is all your base? It's probably not. All your base are belong to us is like the oldest meme that I encountered in the wild. But I presume there are older memes than that. That one to me, though, feels pretty ancient. Rack says, depends on the definition of a meme and if people self-identified it as a meme at the time. And Brogy Frenzy says, I think you're the man now, dog, is older than all your base? Oh, interesting. I actually was not familiar with you're the man now, dog, until a few years ago. So I'm, I'm really not sure on that one. Not like I, I question it, but I, I am not uh, qualified to say. Check this out. Poop out some bombs. Ooh, a hole. A Rangwet says, also, Don't Starve Together finally is a bit easier than single player to survive, but also has harder optional content. Okay, that's nice to have kind of flexible. Oh my god. Have that be flexible. And Perugi Frenzy says, Oh no, wait, my balls is years older than both. I don't even know that one. And Araki says, Oh, I would have guessed all your base was older. Let us check Bing, the only website that can date memes. That's true. God bless you, the Bing people. Ah, see, originally invented, <laughs> named after its inventor, Bing Crosby. Please. Uh, we found the founder's onk. Instantly uh, activates when defeated, reviving you for a second chance. Hey, that's great. All right, so we get to we get to come back to life. Brogy Frenzy says. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, let me see. Sylvain Foundry says, Meme isn't a new term. It has been around for a while. It is basically just a way to share information. Like Johnny Meme Mnemonic. It's not true. Johnny Mnemonic is a totally different thing. And a bad movie. Um, Araka says, You're the man now, dog, says 2001. And all your base, Wikipedia, says by the early 2000s. So who can say? And Pierogi Frenzy says, <laughs> The look on your face as you parsed my last sentence. 
And Rangwet says, but it's still, this is, uh, don't starve together, very hard, even if you can grow insane amounts of food in winter. Are you talking about my insane berry farm, uh, that would definitely exist in a community don't starve server? In which I would dedicate my life to and definitely not burn down by accident by forgetting to turn on the fire extinguisher? Rangwet says, Bob Meme actually coined the term meme, which is where the word comes from. Oh, interesting. I didn't know that. That's So we got named after him. Oh, yeah! What an idiot falling in the hole. Oh, that was, a, that was delicious. Oh, I really like that happening. We got more bomb. Arrakis says, uh, The first time I remember hearing the word meme was in that Doctor Who episode. Where it's the year 30 million or something and they play Toxic as classical music? I do- I'm not familiar. <laughs> and Arrakis says there's a character in that episode that was like from the cult of the repeated meme or something. Oh man. Oh, interesting. So are there two more of these to do? Press all three to go to the Shifting Sands. Alright, well we got one. I actually, I kind of don't like that trope. Like in that Star Trek movie, the more recent one, where they they play Beastie Boys music and they're like, Oh, it's classical music! Come on. Come on. No, it isn't. Don't be like that. Soul Foundry says, Meme. Meme. Origin 1970s. In meme sense two of the noun. Coined by the British evolutionary biologist Richard Dawkins in his 1970 book, the Sel 76 book, The Selfish Gene, from Greek mimimi, <laughs> mimima, that which is limited on the pattern of gene. And Rangoet says, well, berry bushes don't grow in winter, sadly. Oh, true. But instead, you can always try and understand the complex farm shit. Mm, maybe. Maybe I could do that. Don't forget that this started. This conversation started with me saying that I recommended that my friend might not like Don't Starve. <laughs> so my own enthusiasm for it, I must admit, is limited. Um, although doing it as a community thing sounds like a more interesting way to approach it. Uh, Rack says it was very funny in the Doctor Who episode, though. Doctor Who is much more campy vibe than Star Trek, so it works, I think. I could get that. I know what you mean by by that. And Rangwet says, Soul Foundry, shh, you're ruining my troll! Oh no! I think it was Bob Meme. I'm not gonna hear that it was Richard Dawkins. And Progi Frenzy says, Ate My Balls was 1996! Dang! And Arak says, Also, this episode was from like the year 2002, so it wasn't played out yet. True! The only Doctor Who that I know uh, is I went to. So many things in my life I realize now are just like, hey, I went to San Diego Comic Con, and they gave me this free thing, and then it became a part of my life. Like the trice, and everything else. Uh, anyway, so in, like, high school, I went to Comic Con, and they gave me a... It's gonna it, date me a little bit. They... I got a free DVD with two episodes of Doctor Who on it, but it was old Christopher Eccleston Doctor Who with Billy Piper. So that's my, that is the totality of my Doctor Who knowledge. Plus I watched some episodes of Broadchurch, but I, I don't know if that counts. Soul Foundry says, what about Where's the Beef? I think that is, that is kind of memeable. And like, you could say that the like, I don't know. Arrakis says, the episode I'm talking about is I believe the second Chris Eccleston episode? Oh, maybe then. Did I only, did it only have one? I think it had two. I saw the one... Okay. Let me think. One where there were mannequins that come to life, and then one where there's like a secret Area 51 style military base. They might not have been the first two episodes though. They might have just chosen two episodes that they thought would represent the series well. Brogy Frenzy says, uh, Rangwet says that Doctor Who episode with the dolls scared me so much as a kid and gave me a fear of old dolls. Oh yeah! And Brogy Frenzy says, Christopher Eccleston ate my balls. That's the whole meme? Nice. I'm glad to finally be a part of it. And Rocky says, yeah, that episode is terrifying. With Wait, we talk about the mannequins? Is the dolls different? 
Oh, hey, we got a heart. Nice. Yeah, Mannequin's episode. That one was pretty scary. But that's also the one where he says lots of planets have a north, and that seems like a pretty important Doctor Who line. Oh, I gotcha. Oh my god. I'm not prepared for this. Can I fix this? What are we doing here? Stop it. Lots of missiles chasing me. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> Regrets, as I look back now, and the doll outfits are like not the best. Lol. I think that's a good description of a lot of Doctor Who stuff. Uh, a lot of the effects are, are a little ropey. And Rex says, "What about the Folgers <laughs> incest commercial? <laughs> what is that from? Is that a meme? I'm not familiar with the Folgers <laughs> incest commercial." And Rex says, "Like." <laughs> <laughs> Progy Frenzy, I'm looking ahead. Raka says, I got distracted by Twitch and messed up my rice cooking. Oh no! And Progy Frenzy, correct <laughs> response. <laughs> rice cooking ate my balls. Nice. So he says, lol, Arrakis, that is such a weird commercial. Raka says, you're not familiar with the Folgers incest commercial? <laughs> no! They make not incest. Coffee. The opposite. Soul Foundry says, it's a screwed up commercial. It's a and sister. <laughs> Who are totally giving each other eyes on Christmas? And my friend says, Alright, alright, we're looking it up. As much as I don't want to type incest into my Bing search bar, we're looking it up. <laughs> Ragi says, The twins are excited about coffee and also maybe to have sex with each other. Alright, alright, alright. We gotta know. Uh, that's nothing. Um, hold up. I can fix this. Here we go. All right, full <laughs> incest, insect commercial. Nice. <laughs> this used to happen all the time. I actually used to work at a um, uh, a website that had a search feature, and the most popular search term at any time would be like a typo or a misspelling of something dirty. <laughs> so it definitely checked out to me that Folger's insect commercial would be near the top. Anyway, Soulfinder says the SNL skit of it is pretty good too. Amusement says, hold on, my GF just updated me. I was in the other room. I can't believe you've never seen this. All right, full dress commercial, brother, sister. I know I'm going to regret this. I must have the wrong house. Sister. <laughs> oh, I missed you so much. They waited up all night for you, you know. It's a long way from West Africa. Oh, real coffee. Kiss you. Oh, it's the parents. Okay, we're good. Brought you something from far away. <laughs> really? Oh. <laughs> what are you doing? Here are my presents this year. The best part of waking <laughs> up is folders in your cup. No, I don't like that. Oh, we can't watch. Is that it? That's it, right? We saw the right one? That was... I see where that comes from. Okay. So if I says they boned on set. That was it? I... 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 I see it. I see... <laughs> it's a lot. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah, no, I have the same reaction. Oh, actually, let's do some sweet combinations. No, don't do it. Make the thing I'm supposed to make. Don't forget. Don't get distracted, PD. Brogy Frenzy says, I was trying to impress the cool girl in middle school with my Nirvana knowledge, and I thought the album Insecticide... <laughs> not was Insecticide, not Incesticide, and I totally missed the basket. Oh no! And Araki says, the two Xmas commercials burn into my brain are that one and the one where the m <laughs> meets Santa. Alright, we gotta know. Uh, we're gonna build a new workbench. Oh, cool, we got two. I'll do... Oh, I need a hundred more dollars. Oh my god, it's like real life. So Foundry says, that's how you need to greet your siblings next time you see them. Mm. Mm. Alright, let's... Can we... Do I got room for these? Not really. Do... Would I rather have... No. Get that out of here. 
Ah, oh, mercy. I'm sad that I know about that now. I wish I never knew. I wish I never knew about the incest commercial. Regret says, let me think of weird ads. Let me think of weird ads! We got a little, a little, another little man. We should check in on the little man uh, factory. Let's see how many they actually need. Whoop! One hit in, nice. Rangwat says, did I ever post the live action Elden Ring commercial where it's like a family drama? I don't think I've seen that. Froggy Friend says, Folgers is, isn't even that good for ground coffee. My parents used to always get Folgers. I remember seeing it like around my house, but uh, I, I've never had it personally, I don't think. Or maybe I have it every time I go home for Christmas and don't realize it, but I'm not sure. Arrakis says, how good is it for incest, though? The question on everyone's mind. Top shelf. Arrakis says, other ads, my special eyes, and I'll call you tomorrow. I just, I don't know these. And Soulfoundry says, the little man factory needs more than you think. I don't have a, for sure, a sure number, but I think a good handful. Okay. Cool, so we're not missing out on little mans. Top shelf incest by Folgers. No! Rangwetz is it so good, you wouldn't- Oh my god. Rangwetz is it so good, you wouldn't know it was Elden Ring at first. It's this slightly bizarre live-action family drama, not fantasy at all, where a family breaks up over a broken ring. It's such a weird structure. Oh, there's a man in the water. I like that. I like when they do weird commercials. You know what commercial I was thinking about the other day? Um, I referenced to somebody and they had no idea what I was talking about. Do you remember the PSP commercials where they're like, It's like a nut! You can play outside! I said that basically to someone and they, they were like, what are, you, what are you talking about? Arrakis says, I'll post the other ads to the Discord later to not continue derailing the stream. It's fine. Brogy Frenzy says, it's so good. Jesus Christ, it's so good you forget you have the same parents. I guess that would be the hope. Araka says, I don't know that one. I only remember the weirdly racist white versus black PSP commercials. Oh, I don't know that one. All right, what are we doing here? I need bombs for this to work. And I have bombs, but I think I need a bomb that I can throw. I mean, we could try this. Well, that didn't work. Can I move and do this? No, I'm stuck in place. No. That's enough. Ranguet says, Anyway, after the grandma returns when the argument ends, the grandma's like, Don't worry, it'll all be fine once the tarnished returns. And then the one guy gives this fucking golden look at the camera to a guy shouting, Elden Ring! Alright. I like it. Rack says there's this big billboard when they released- Oh, I did see this! I actually do know this. Uh, the white PSP, and it was like, white is coming or something, and had a white lady wrestling a black lady or something. Seems problematic. Seems unwise. It's- it's surprising sometimes how, uh, blunderful... Like, you think about the number of people who need to sign off on something like that and, like, design it and come up with the copy and somebody needs to okay it. And you just wonder, how how does this happen? Pretty effed up, though. In conclusion. Oh! Okay, that doesn't work. That's okay, we got some dollars. Soulfinder says, obviously no people of color on that project. I would think probably they would they would have put in a a, a, a word of caution. I, I I think I think you're probably right. Rangwat says likely on purpose to stir up controversy so everybody's talking about it. Interesting. I don't I think there's like I know they say no publicity is bad publicity, but I feel like 
probably somebody got fired for that one. I don't know. Oh, do we have a light? We have the Adrena Boost. Oh, which we should just be using. For more health. But we do not have a light right now. What an idiot! I like that the key to fighting those guys seems to be to just go completely aggro on them. I kind of like that in a combat system. Rangwetz is very messed up though. Agreed. Ah. My plan! Is there just a fast... No. I guess it makes sense that there's no fast way to just use an item from the menu, since they do have a, like, a charge-up time. Get owned. Brogy Frenzy says, My wife worked at Unilever uh, when the Dove commercial for Body Wash where a black woman with a skin colored t-shirt takes it off and underneath there's a white woman with a white shirt. The international, uh, the internal post-mortem post outsourced ads from then on, if I recall correctly. Oh wow, so they eliminated all those people. Jeez. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I like, that's probably the correct thing to do, but uh, extreme. If there was a time for extreme action, I suppose that would be it. Blink. We're getting some money, we're killing some stone pigs. Is this like Zelda, where the stone pigs have like a de delightfully charming little creature name? Oh, that? That's a Don Don. They're, they're little pig monsters. We need to know. Do I have like a codex? That was in the other game I was playing, right? Yeah. Oh. Oh, I see. Yeah, there are a ton of those little guys. I see. We've got three of five in the foothills. What, do I have to collect them all in one run? <clears throat> Progi Friends says, okay, okay. So incest and racism. What else? What else? Yeah, no, we're good. We're, we're hitting all of our topics. I was worried that it was going to be hard for me to bring these up organically, and I appreciate that everybody in chat is, uh, is helping out. <laughs> this is good. I can continue to address my agenda. Alright, we're going in the dungeon. We're going to get owned, is what I'm detecting now. Well, we have the bow, we have the bombs. We have everything except the skills. Oh my god, it's this boy. Brogy Frenzy says, My kid says when she grows up, she's gonna be a bird? That's pretty charming. Ow. My brain. Easy. When he sucks, pull. Pull away. Don't get sucked. Ah, oh, yes! Oh, we got this! If we don't make any huge super mistakes, I think we got this. Here's what I'm gonna do. After this, we're gonna pause. Uh, sorry. And put our healing item on our little bar there. Shouldn't be way over here for this part. That's going good. As long as he doesn't do anything weird all of a sudden. Rangwet says, post the ad in the Trice channel. Nice. Why not? What else is that channel doing? I mean... Progy Frenzy says, slow is pro! Just 
gotta take our time here. Easy. <laughs> Rango says, this is the channel I just post weird stuff in, like the Trist. Makes sense? I, I think that's appropriate. Now that we've turned against AJ Gentile, at least I have. What up? Ada! I'm still operational. I forget what the robot's voice was. What a close call. It was awfully dark in there. And it smelled terrible. Oh yeah! Thank you for the light snack, Soul Foundry. Before I almost became junk food, I noticed these strange glyphs. Araki says, next game jam, we need to make a trist or humbug, humbug game. So I have kind of a mechanic in mind for the trist. Which is, okay, so that, you know, he's got the powers of Jesus, right? And one of the things he does is he takes one gun and turns it into a whole bunch of guns that are all, like, flying around him and shooting people. I think it'd be fun to do a top-down perspective where you have a whole bunch of guns that are all, like, orbiting you. And basically, what like, you have, like, a normal point-and-shoot or, like, a, a, you know, a twin-stick kind of shooter aim or whatever... But then you can also shoot a bunch of bullets periodically, like on a cooldown, where you just have to, like, basically, like, every time you tap a button, it freezes the next gun in place. And so you go, like, tap, 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 all four of your guns freeze, and then they shoot in the direction that they're facing. That's my idea. Anyway, I think you're describing Brotato. Oh, no! And Rex says, oh, that does sound very good. And Rex says, I see, cool. And Brogy Frenzy, thank you very much for the light snacks. <clears throat> Mixed greens. That's that's my little idea for the trist. We need to do this. Those gremlins, but I oh, I can't remember though because I was thinking about and sometimes I think about these things too much and I was like just in case we got to give it a fake name. Uh and so I think it'd be fun to call it the Galilean instead of the trist. I was like looking up like alternate names for Jesus Christ. Uh and the Galilean I think would be a good one to just be just to be safe. And so I said, "Oh goodness." <laughs> Those gremlins were trying real hard to get in, but it's sealed shut. There's no way we're getting in there. The met metatronist. Is that a, a Jesus word? Whoa, what was that? Metatronist. That's also uh, my similar idea. Instead of the transition of Titus Crow, if we ever do something based on that, I want to call it... Uh, instead of the transition of Titus Crow, the migration of Midas Finch, I think would be a good name. Arrakis says, if I recall correctly, he is Enoch, who God turned into God Jr. Okay. God's a blazereth. So if Andre says, if I did a Jesus game, I'd have him throw fish and bread as an ultimate? I mean, yeah, we gotta get that in, obviously. We're trapped. Hang on, I'm picking up some mysterious energy coming from this hole in the ground. I've got an idea. Try making me, taking me over with your remote. Okay. Rebuff. Beep, boop, 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 boop. Now let's dig up whatever's down here with my claw digger. Oh, that's great. Arrakis says, have you played El Shaddai? I haven't. And Soulfighter says, El Shaddai was a freaking trip. Oh, I'm supposed to be mashing a button. And Rengwet says, will we get other Jesus powers like Zelda items such as walking on water? Very good idea. Summoning mafia fish with guns and I need to think of more. Brogy Prince says, cursing fig trees. Very important. Yeah, yeah, I don't see why not. We'll s I mean, yeah, listen, it's... That would be a whole a whole project, but something something interesting to think about. Okay, so now we can dig with the little man. It's so beautiful here. This rune is of unknown origin, but I may be able to decipher its meaning. Scanning! Rangwet says, turning health to wine that gives buffs. True. Arrakis says, El Shaddai Ascension of the Metatron is like DMC slash Bayonetta style game that is very loosely based on the Book of Enoch. Musepot says, water to wine, being able to multiply loaves and fishes from nothing. What else does he do in the comic? He... He... Turns a single slice of pizza into a whole bunch of slices of pizza. He turns all the guns, one gun into a bunch of guns. He brings a kid back from the dead who gets shot in a drive-by shooting. Um, I can't remember what else he does. He turns the, the lemonade into champagne. So if says, instead of curing sight, what if he can just see through someone else's eyes? And Rex says, I believe it is bad. Also, he wears blue jeans, cures lepers. Good one. 
And Rocky says, Jesus loves to whip bankers and throw them out of a room. Also good. And Rogi Prince, he says, breakable walls of olive timber that you shoot with your cursed arrows. It's kind of like an oblique reference. All right, I want to see if El Shaddai is on Steam real quick. So watch what we're going to do. Similarly to what we did before. Oh yeah, this doesn't work. I forgot about that. We never figured out why. All right, well, I'm just going to look and you guys can't see. How about that? El Shaddai. Oh yeah, El Shaddai Deluxe Pack. Okay, let's put this bad boy on the wish list. There's like, oh, an art book and a soundtrack. I don't need those. I don't need the deluxe pack. I just need the regular Peter Boyd pack for cheap bastards. Okay. Uh, nope, my transitions don't work. Don't forget. Then we go back to Sparklight. Perfect. Musebot says a chariot racing minigame where you face off against Ben Hur. Wait, is Ben Hur in. I remember I watched Ben Hur when I was a kid. Is Jesus in Ben Hur? I guess he. He must be? I don't remember. And Rakis says, I remember having a convo with someone about how the holy whip from Castlevania should have been Jesus' whip. Real missed opportunity. Rangwet says, So healing touch. What if you can use a controllable healing touch that can mess up the chemistry in people? I do. That's like a very good. Like, that's a very good. Like, a, a twist that would be in the Trist. As it'd be like, well, he can mess with people's body chemistry because he can heal them, obviously. Uh, and so now he can do the, the effed up version of that. And it, okay, this rune. Pierogi Frenzy says, you can resurrect when you're killed, but you only have 30 seconds before you die again. And Rangoet says, I could write to Trist. I think it's the Trist, but it is fun because we've been talking about old memes. Um, the Trist. Anyway, something to think about. Something, an idea to kick around. Uh, this rune, it appears to be a message. The sheer amount of information stored in this one sigil is quite remarkable. Oh. They sought a place safe from the violent tolls of the toils of the universe. Guided by the astronomer, they traveled across the darkness for ages. No! <laughs> Baroque Frenzy says, You know who I think ate my balls? No! <laughs> the astronomer, with her limitless knowledge of the stars, led them here. That's all I was able to decipher. Okay, so space people. Oh, the crystal. You have done well to reach this hallowed vault, starborn child. Defeating the Titan was no small task. You have reunited with your faithful friend, and though it may seem your journey is complete, it is just beginning. In lightning, nope, in lighting this beacon, you have activated the Astronomer's Seal, the first of five. You must activate the remaining seals, or the world will be unmade. More will be revealed as you continue your journey. Make haste, Starborn Child. The world's fate is in your hands. Rangwet says, we can't forget Jesus can destroy demons. Well, he can put them into pigs. Which I guess is slightly distinct. Brogy Frenzy says you should look it up on stream and just think about how that was the reason to get the internet in 1996. Ugh. Isn't it amazing? This gigantic vessel can stay airborne without any crew member turning a crank or shoveling ore. This balloon engine will run for aeons. The nearest star will die before this engine's fuel is depleted. That's the power of harnessed sparklight. Imagine the destruction it can cause when it's consumed instead. That's what you are up against, Ada. That titan you defeated is just one of the Baron's machines. There are four others, each powered by a sparklight combustor. Pollution from the combustors has been mutating Jodia's creatures into monsters and fracturing the world. I don't know what the Baron is after, but he's ripping this world apart to get it. How did you know all this? Because I'm the fool who discovered sparklight combustion. Perhaps I was blinded by the thrill of innovation. Perhaps the wealth. Perhaps I was just naive. Whatever it was, I lost sight of the harm my inventions would cause the world. And I had no idea how powerful and evil the Baron would become. But there is hope. I built a back door into the Titan circuitry. Take this patch. When equipped in your multi-tool, it will show you the location of the remaining Titans on your map. Well, that helps me find them. Nothing I can do will make amends for the wrong I've done. But maybe you can help put an end to it. The next titan is located in the Golden Woods, east of the Vinelands. You should head there next. Uh, 
Araki says, If I was making a biblical game, I would make one about Solomon enslaving demons to build the temple. I've heard about that. That is pretty a cool idea. It'd be like Roller to Coaster Tycoon or Sim Tower. That part I did not expect. So it's like a city builder. And Musebud says, Is this an analog for Uranium 238? And Giant Spadget says, Arrakis, I have a young adult fantasy book for you then. Rengwet says, Apparently Jesus has power over time and creation. I mean, I guess as the Holy Spirit, he kind of is one with God. Interesting interpretation. And Musebud says, Damn it, Oppenheimer! Froggy Frenzy says, Watch out, when I get 20k light snacks, I'll make you play I Am Jesus Christ. <laughs> don't like the sound of that. I want to combine some crap. I don't even care. No, I'm not going to do it. I'm wrong. We gotta do this first. We gotta get the thing that does the thing. Nice. We got the balloon. And so what? Now can I... Claw digger. Oh yeah! Okay, he gets stuff too. Anything I can combine, like, these boys? For 50? Ah, oh, what am I, made of money? We can get the Titan Triangulator, let's do that. And, unless it's big, in which case, forget it. Good. Vineland's Explorer's Badge, what does it do again? Reveals the violence on the world map when you land in the world. I mean, that's where we live already, I don't need that. Rengwet says, I just uh, Google searched powers and abilities of Jesus Christ, and uh, the first thing I see it was Jesus doing Kung Fu. Very biblical. Froggy Frenzy says, have you seen the gameplay? It's like Skyrim, and I just cannot. I am Jesus Christ? Oh my god. And Rax says, oh, I have this book on my list already. Good to know. Oh, the Bartimaeus trilogy. One of the characters is a demon who is enslaved by Solomon. Interesting. All aboard! Ready to head back down and grab some more spoils? Let's do it. Oh, we got plenty of time. Fantastic. I, one thing I've learned from streaming is when I'm streaming, I have no idea how much time has passed. Like, truly, just no clue. Uh, okay, we did... Well, this is interesting. Which is why I so frequently comment on how much time we have left. One of the reasons. Okay, we've got our digging man. Arrakis says, remember the time you ended the stream an hour early because the game was so bad you forgot what time it was? Oh yeah, I remember Evan's Remains. I could never forget. As hard as I try. Um, yeah, I, I really thought we were way over time. But no, just not a very good game. Okay. Is there like one under here? Do you think there's like a secret one more of these? Aha! Rogi Frenzy says, I would play a 4X game where you're a backwoods preacher during a religious fervor. Scenarios include the Levant in 1st century AD and upstate New York in the 19th. Ooh, a time-spanning adventure. Musebud says, I was so confused when that happened. I thought for a minute you must have moved to Chicago or something. Uh, and Rangwat says, wait, so another ability as a nod to the Bible in Space Station 13, where you can hit someone over the head with a Bible, which heals physical damage but causes brain damage? That's funny. Giant Spatch says, this game seems like a satisfying 2D Zelda. It is! That's that's pretty much what we're dealing with here. Musebud says, though, in hindsight, that is the wrong direction temporally. You would have been in the ocean! I could live in the ocean. And maybe it'd be nice. A little damp. But you could get used to it. I could be like, um, that detective who I, who I referenced on the stream before. Travis McGee. I could live on a houseboat like Travis McGee. Well, everybody loves the Travis McGee mysteries. 
He's not really in the ocean, though. I think he's in, like, Florida. Rengwet says, also, if you fart over the Bible at Space Station 13, you explode just like real life. Don't try it, kids. And uh, Giant Spudger says, if you were a mer person, what would your lower half be? So I want to say a beluga, but that's just wishful thinking. Truthfully, I don't know. What's, like, a lobster, maybe? I think maybe a lobster, or perhaps a hermit crab. Something gross. Brogy Frenzy says, There is something about in a nod to the Bible <laughs> that gets me. It's a nod. Uh, Rengwet says, I, th <laughs> I think they got rid of it for a while and in some servers due to trolling, which is sad. And Raki says, I've posted several more classic commercials in the Discord. If you need to kill another hour of time, if the game gets bad, this game will not get bad. Ah, good! I'll check it out later. I'll do it. So this is what happened. So I told you all I gotta do work tonight. And the truth is... What will happen is, I will keep saying, well, I'll do it later, I'll do it later, I'll do it later. And then I'll say, oh, it's too late, I'm all tired. I'm not, you know, if I do it now, it's just gonna take me more time total to get it done. So I'll go to sleep and I'll wake up early and do it. And then I won't do that. I'll just go to sleep and wake up over and over, setting and resetting my alarm, getting a terrible night's sleep, and not doing the thing. And uh, that's pretty much my plan for the, for the next 12 hours or so. Giant Spatcher says, Lobster is good. You would continue to grow until you are crushed by your own shell. Effectively immortal legs. Immortal legs. Ooh. That's not bad. Araki says, Black Lagoon creature. Or one of your Abe Sapiens. Or is that cheating? I don't think so. Oh, love an Abe Sapien. And Giant Spatcher says, Solid choice. And Rangoet says, As a nod to the Bible, Judas is a boss fight. Judas forgives you after he's drop kicked after he's drop kicked you that's good of him oh i see check it out king of games nope oh yeah wait for it not this one. Oh. oh this is gonna be tough but we can do it look so they're gonna meet in the middle so all we gotta do huh maybe that's not gonna work I think I've wasted all my bombs now. Bummer. Oh, I said Jesus forgives you, not Judas. My bad, my bad, my bad. And Giant Spatch says, My lower half would be specifically the whale from Moby, Moby Dick? Moby Kick? Moby Dick. Giant Spatch says, I realize it got autocorrected, but I'm not going to change it. Do you want to know a fun fact about Moby Dick? If you're writing the whale's name, Moby Dick, it's, there's... It's a space between Moby and Dick, but if you're writing the name of the book, there's a hyphen between Moby and Dick. And I have no clue why. I don't know why that is, but that is the case. Moby Dick the Whale, space, Moby Dick the Book, hyphen. Or else it's the opposite, but I'm pretty sure that's the one. Rengwet says, does Moby Dick appear as a level? And Raka says, can I be half Willy the Operatic Whale from that one obscure old cartoon? I would love to gain opera singing powers as part of my transformation, but don't forget only your legs are the legs of an opera singer. I don't think that's the half of an opera singer that you want. And Progi Frenzy says, Moby Kick is a Surf Ninja sequel. True! Ah, I love it. Oh, wait. I'm a fool and a coward. Brogy Frenzy says, I'm so pleased with myself, it's gross. You should be. Don't feel gross about it. That was fantastic. Okay, we're going to the east. Oh, that's heal. Oh, actually, I do want that heal. We need more bombs. Oh, wait. Is the thing that I... Is this thing a bomb? Hold up. Am I a fool? It is a bomb. Oh my god, we could have gone in that other hole. I mean, not anymore, because I used up all my energy. Oh, what a... F a comedy of errors. A farce.
Hey, dude. Hold up. I gotta. The dog is making a ton of noise. Giant Spider says, "Is this thing a bomb?" Lots <laughs> of words. Hey, dude. Hey, dude. Hey, dude. Sorry, the dog had a bone and was uh, like chewing on it against the desk, and so it was making a bunch of noise. And she <laughs> has picked it up where I moved it from and put it right back. Good, good, good work. All right, what are we doing? Giant Spatch says we could not hear it. Okay, good. Oh, I forgot how the controls. Oh my god. Giant Spatch says, has anyone remarked on your kitchen chair? You love it. Listen, I bought a table and chairs set that had way more chairs than I need. And so, oh my god, it's the wrong button. I just use those chairs all over my house. You know? And then the table doesn't have all the chairs in it, and it's not a big deal. But it is, yes, it is technically a kitchen, a kitchen chair. You're not mistaken. All right, we're taking this bomb. We're going to that hole. God damn it. Where was it? All right, a little bit of backtracking. Giant Spatcher says, please tape some cardboard to it and turn it into a DIY game, a high back gamer chair. Oh yeah. So ergonomic. Okay, this is what I'm actually gonna do. Good God. Long way to go for that one. Ranguet says, remember the, remember the Skittles ad where it is a documentary about the guy with the condition that makes his skin Skittles? I actually do remember that. And Brogy Frenzy says, this dining room set is discounted because it has too many chairs. Honestly, basically what happened. That's pretty much how it went down. I'm not gonna lie to you. Okay, does anybody remember? That's wrong. That's not the place. How about I F this up? Am I supposed to go... Ow. Hold up. Is it here? Okay, here's what we gotta do. Check this out. We sneak through, and we do this so that he can't rush us. Good, and he hits that, and that's fine. We blow that up. Now we need to get more energy, so we have to kill this man. Then, we go in the hole. Brogy Frenzy says, this overworld music hits hard. It is pretty good, isn't it? Ah, fudge. All right, so here's our problem. I mean, besides the obvious one. Uh, this is going to be hard to do without bombs that we can just drop on the ground. I think we should just poke around for those. Giant Spatch says, this hole is made for you. We gotta heal. That's what we're gonna do next. We're gonna find somewhere safe. Good. Froggy Friend says, Giant's Batcher, no! No! Okay, why did everything respawn? I kinda hate that. Ranguet says it was made for you like that Ito manga, uh, manga? Manga, what a noob. Ah, oh, devastating. Caught in 4K saying manga. Ranguet says, Pierogi Frenzy, this overworld music is gonna make me insane. Why, it's, it's all right. Is that energy juice? 
Yes. Okay, that is an acceptable alternative to bomb. Giant Spatter says, is this stream in 4K? No, not even close, my god. We can't afford that. By which I mean, I'm, I'm not Twitch partner enough. You gotta be like a fancy man for that. Froggy Frenzy says, I'm from the dumb state that says Mario wrong? No. We got the Invigor boost. Arak says, Mario's name is Mario Mario, so you can say each one different way. Oh, like Mario Mario? And Rangot says, fun fact, ah, on the same wavelength as Arrakis, Mario's name is Mario. Or Mario's surname is Mario. Ugh, it just feels gross saying it, doesn't it? Even as a joke. It's hard not to notice that all of my old foes seem to have come back to life. I don't know how I feel about that. So here's the question. Progi Frenzy says, Arrakis, I like that. I'm not saying it's wrong. I'm not saying it wrong. I'm just calling him by his last name. True. And Rangwet says, imagine having your brother have the same name as your surname. Oh, the same. That would be weird. I don't know what to think of that. Rex says, I feel like in this game you can mostly ignore the overworld enemies, or just walk past them. Yeah, just mostly with grind them, grinding them up. What am I doing? How am I here? How do I keep... Arrakis says it's like Billy D. Williams. William D. Williams. Oh yeah, I never really thought about that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. isn't this the one that I'm supposed to be able to go down? No. It's one with a, a, a little pig monster on it. Uh, Soul Foundry says, but if you ignore the enemies, you get no monies. And Rengua says, unfortunately, it is wrong according to the Mario movie. Ah, bummer. And Giant Spatch says, fun fact, Bizzle is Pyotr's brother's name. It's true. Don't dox my brother. Brother is named Bizzle Bizzle. <laughs> no! Revealed! Okay, here we go. Ready for some perfect aptitude of gaming ability? First of all, do I just have a lamp and can I skip doing the stupid thing I'm going to do? Nope, okay. One. Use the boost. Here we go. Oh my god. Didn't work. Look, this is gonna work great. And not be a waste of my, my e-boost. All I have to do is hit that other thing in the dark with this hard to control item. Let's just let it get to the other side, and if it... Oh, okay. If we get too close to the other side, we'll just reverse it. We've only got one more shot at this. Please! We did it! <laughs> oh my god! Rengwat says, Peter Bizzle and Bizzle Bizzle. Bizzle Bizzle? Uh, Rengwat says, no, it's pronounced Beasle. And Solfine says, ah, like Michael Buble. Exactly. Now leave and re-enter? No! I would never. Oh my god, I'm a fool. Here we go. I can fix this. I can do this. Seeing is for, for dorks and chumps. How's this going so bad for me? Look, I have healing items. I will spam this section until I beat it. Oh, is there a thing that... 
Do you have like fire arrows? Oh, I can get like little lanterns and stuff. Yeah, there's a light power up. Okay, that was almost it. Do you have a torch or can you shoot an arrow through fire? Oh, that's an interesting question. No, I can't shoot it through the lamp, but that was a good idea. The sad thing is that whatever we get on the other side is not going to be very good. Oh, that should've worked! What up? Few games. We got bombs. Regret says, damn! It should've worked. In a good game, it would've worked. Now to just do the opposite and get out of here. Giant Spadger says, grats! Grats on the bombs! Okay, just... Look. This should be easy now. Don't walk off. Straight across. <laughs> oh, don't use the bombs. Okay, we're out of health. So actually, I might die in here. Do you think if we do this, can I stand right on the edge? Can I see it? No. No, oh, that should have been it! You spent more bombs than the bombs you got? Well, I spent the, like, energy. Which is a little different. Do you think my man can see? No. Rank says it's about the journey, not the destination, though. True! Exquisitely true in this case. Your man can see. He can see, but I can't... We're out. All it took was all of our hearts and so much time. <laughs> and now I get killed on the next screen. I'm ready for it. What up? Totally not worth it. One thing we could try... Oh, see, so this is a different area. That's why they all got reloaded, I guess. All the enemies came back. Is that gonna happen again? Oh, boy. Oh, 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 I can do this. New area! Oh, we're in! Soul Foundry says, Puzzle Genius! True! A heal would be exquisite. Oh boy. Especially because I'm up against enemies that I don't I don't know what they do. Okay, this I gotta Oh, can I send my man to do this? He seems like he should be able to go in that pipe. Or just go over here. I guess not though. Nopers. Okay, bummer. Oh! <laughs> and all those bombs that we picked up? Everybody say goodbye, bombs. Oof. It's okay. It could be worse. We came out here with a lot of money. Enough to do some combination. and get more hearts. Ah, I see. Are there any of these that I don't really need? Nah, we kinda need all of them. Oh, but here we go. Okay, we're gonna go for a better run now. Should check on Beats Lady maybe, or other shops? Yeah, let's go to the Beats Lady. Hi, Ada. We're still working on getting our song right, but do you want to hear anyway? Ringwet says, is this a roguelite? Yeah. Yes, it is. It's still quite sparse. We'll get there someday. They are cute. Okay, I have $8 because I wasted all my money. But look, we have more health now. And now we can just beeline to the other area, hopefully. S 
So what's the deal? Does our map tell us where it is? There's no legend on here, but I guess those are like the, the vaults. We can upgrade to get a bigger patch board also, right? Oh, can we? I actually don't know. That seems like a thing we should be able to get. Oh my god. The foolishness. Absolutely embarrassing display. I'm Rango says, anyway, I gotta go now, bye. Alright, Rango, thanks for stopping by. Always good to chat with you. And Soul Foundry says, I was reading online and they say to upgrade the hospital first. I definitely did not do that. And Arax says, I think it's another upgrade spot in the health room. Okay. We'll try it. Down we go. Oh, we gotta fight some dudes. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's kind of fun. What are you gonna do about it, you idiot? I broke your house. Arrakis says, if I recall from your previous stream, there's a patch you have that tells you where the entrance to the other areas is that maybe you don't have equipped. Oh, is that what that does? I thought it gave me like a map of the Vinelands, which I th thought was where I am. But maybe that would tell me where I need to go. Oh, I think I have that patch equipped. The Vault's patch, I think, is equipped right now. That's, uh, this boy. Oh, no, that tells me where the Titans are. Is that the same? Arax says, I might be misremembering. And Soulfinder says, that's the map of the Vinelands. And yes, it does do that. Ah, okay, so we should have that equipped. Interesting. Let's leave that man alone. Discharges bursts of sparkling energy in all directions. That's kind of fun. Could be useful if we're in a tight spot. Kill that man. Let's leave these little these little Paris sects alone because they seem useful to be able to farm if you like need energy for something later. So if I says, I always have my map patch equipped. I legit just look for health and bomb power-ups. The others are meh. I feel like, I maybe I like the Founder's Ankh. Oh yeah, weren't we supposed to... Was that a patch? Wasn't that like an item we picked up? I guess it didn't work. Or maybe it did and I didn't notice? Well, this is too dark. Yeah, we can't do this. But... Founder's Onk is a power-up that revives you on death. Yeah, we saw one of those. Oh yeah, that needs to be lit, it looks like. It seemed like we needed to light a torch in here. You don't use it, it uses itself. Okay. And Rex says, oh yeah, didn't you have one of those? Why didn't you revive? Maybe I did revive and we didn't notice. One of the times when I like fell off a place. We must have used it up or something, right? I think we can just beeline to this next area, though. Soul Foundry says it's like the bombs, you only have it per the run. Okay, yeah. Maybe we needed it equipped? Is that a thing? That seems like it could be a thing. And so says, not, she just use itself. Okay, maybe not. Nice, we got some health. I don't know what this is, but it's weird. Seems like a nasty flower. It's kind of a nice area. Chill autumnal vibes. Oh, I hear a man. Where is he? 
I see him. Dig that man up. We got him. So far, he says, you avoided that light power up very well. Oh man, I didn't even notice it. And Arax says, I think an item fell from behind your UI up there. We got it, we got it. Woof. Oh, let's use that light power up. Well, there's a health in the other screen. Wait. Down here? No. Oh, yeah. All right. We got something. Good eye. Good eye. Got it. Nice. Okay, let's go to where it's dark and spooky. Which I wish I remembered where that was. But I think it's he this way and then down. Oh, that didn't work. Ah, uh, Giant Spatula has redeemed today's featured hero clicks. Yeah, let's take a look before we continue on. And Soul Foundry says, Iraq is the UI and this legit hides even more on mobile. The frustration gets real. Oh, that's also always my problem on mobile is like your thumbs covering up the screen. Uh, anyway, today's featured hero clicks, which I'm definitely set up for. Uh, bam! Today's featured hero clicks is Heimdall from Thor. Uh, you remember him. He's played by Idris Elba. Um, and Soul Foundry says, I love this game with my controller. That is, yeah, I feel like controller has to be the right way to play this. The Bridge Keeper, exactly. As you can see, his sword is a little bent in classic hero scape, uh, or hero scape, hero quest fashion. Giant Spatula says, good for him. Good for him. Well, I wanted to talk about Idris Elba because, as we know, he's also Stacker Pentecost in, uh, Pacific Rim. And last night, I finished watching the extremely disappointing Pacific Rim anime on Netflix, where the first season was kind of interesting, and the second season, you could tell that they were, like, planning to make a show that was five seasons, and then they were like, hey, you have to finish it in two seasons, and they said, oh, crap, we don't know how to do that, and it was really bad. Hero Quest, says Unwise Bird. Hero Scape, Hero Quest, Hero Click, so many good hero games, my god. Uh, anyway, that's why I brought Idris Elba in. Um, as you can see, uh, we don't have any data on his thickness. Actually, do I? Not without breaking it, but I think he's pretty flat back there. I looked because you can kind of see under his, his cape, but I think he's pretty flat back there. Um, let's compare him to our standard size Karen just to see. As you can see, Heimdall, a little tall, a little bit of a tall man. I'll dig it. Giant Spot just says, any day I think about Idris Elba is a good day. And Progus Friends says, unrealistic. Unrealistic. Should not be flat back there. Uh, he's a little bit taller than our standard size Karen. This is from our Thor uh, Ragnarok hero clicks set that I have a bunch of guys from. Uh, and so it really is. It really is genuinely, you know, Idris and or Idris Elba. Um, crucially, this man... Uh, Heimdall is 60 points, and also, he's today's featured hero clicks, so... Now you know. And Brogy Friends says, I want him to be James Bond, for fuck's sake! True! Giant Spatch says, same! I've, I've heard that if you dip these guys in boiling water, that it'll, like, de-bend their bent parts, but I've, I've always been afraid to try it. Maybe we should do that, and see, see if we can get him back into shape. Anyway. What are we doing? We're looking for the underground dark, darkened cavern. He should be James Bond. Just do it. Progy Frenzy says, "There's no way that's right." I've I've heard it before. I don't know. And Giant Spatula says that also happens to humans in boiling water, if I recall correctly. That seems truly unlikely, but I don't know. Maybe. Oh, I see. Ah, bummer. Oh, even bigger bummer. Okay, check it out. Let's do a quick maze. Yeah, we could not have done this without the light. Unwiseword says, that kind of sounds like a you can charge your phone in the microwave kind of thing. 
Maybe so. And Soul Foundry says humans do go limp and can be shaped posed easily after boiling, I think. That sounds true. Don't try it. Hey, we got a purple thing. What was the purple thing? Is it this? The Founder's Onk. Okay, we got an Onk. Yeah, and I can't equip it, so we got one now. Progi <laughs> says bolts to kitchen. Giant's Badge says Triforce your computer, etc. True. Lots of good tips online is the moral of the story for basic home repair. I think we can get out with just this last one. Yeah, we're good. Alright, we'll save one little light balloon for, for later. Give me the, the heels. Soul Foundry says those two space gaps can be sprinted across. Ah, should we have been doing more sprinting? <laughs> Pierogi Frenzy says, Araka says, one little light snack. One little light snack left. Froggy Frenzy says, Alt F4 is screenshot. I think that's true. I've heard that before. It works good. Don't do it. I need the viewership. Oh, he's like one of these guys. Alright, so if we hit his butt... Oh my god, he devastated me. Soulfinder says, help can, can serve those light power-ups. I hate them and love them. I see why they're kind of hateable, honestly. Not to be rude. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's practice fighting this beat. So Foundry says, I will do light runs just to find those caves. Oh, damn. I'm going to skip this man. Oh. Curious. Ooh, the bad guys are getting pretty tanky, huh? Maybe we'll get like a better sword. Anything in here in this room that I care about? Good shot. Uh, Araka says you haven't bought a single wrench strength power up if I recall correctly. Ah, that would do it. Froggy Frenzy says, Pixel RPG Overworld theme music composer must be such a chill gig. Ugh. I don't know. I feel like that might be one of those things where it's like, they're actually extremely tortured people, you know, in order to produce the, the beautiful, chill Overworld theme music, they have to live horrible lives themselves. You know, like being a sad clown or, or a, a talk show host. Giant Spatcher says, first composer gig to be replaced by AI? Oh, probably, honestly. There's enough, like, examples of it. That's a bummer. Uh, Soul Foundry says, game mechanic I didn't figure out until too late. E each hit refills your stamina slash energy. It lets you bomb more stuff. Oh, true. We should be using our bombs more liberally, huh? Yeah, we kind of figured that out in the, uh, when we were trying to bomb that other little stupid puzzle bomb. Giant Spider says, huge bummer. That's disappointing. Alright, you gotta cut it out. Stop being such a weird little tree. The bomb balloon, yeah! And Raki says, it's like the reverse of uh, Junji Ito, where in order to make horror, you have to be a happy person. Exactly! And Giant Spatch says, second Junji Ito reference of the stream. We're doing good. Whew, what a relief to see you. Margo and I got split up again. Think you could find her for me? Here's my medallion to let her know I'm safe. All right. 
You'll need to find her before the next fracture. So we're not actually going to jump in this hole then, on account of it may be unsafe to do so. And we want to find Margo and get the map. If we can. No, bu 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 Extract. One dollar found. Thanks, man. Giant Spatch says, Have you ever jumped in a safe hole asking for a friend? Uh, my, my finding is that holes are... You tend to be safer outside the hole. And Araka says, Only holes that were made for me. Nice. Oh no, there's a bee! On the bottom of the screen. I guess we're not going back down there, jeez. Unless... <laughs> Kinda worked. I truly don't know if that did anything. Rex says, I think that B is on the next screen, but overlapping a little bit. I think you're right. Yeah. Oh, oh, of course. I totally forgot about Monty's Hall. Froggy Friend says, D dreadfully sorry. I have not. False B. Ahoy, back for more booty. Today's your lucky day. You just need your crew card to get started. Here we go. It costs $10. All right, here's how you play. Not so fast before you pick. How about I make this a bit easier? Are you sure you want to open that chest? Yes, I am. Ah, better luck next time. No, I'm a fool. Giant Spatcher says Monty's Hall. Oh, yeah. Every time we've switched, we've gotten it so far. I wonder if it's just... If it's just... Rigged. And Giant Spatch says, I've missed all the other streams. This is entertaining to me. And Solvari says, every time. Froggy Friend says, wasn't there some ARPG called I Love Bees? Was there? Rex says, yeah, it is rigged. Or is it just probability? Ah, bummer. Okay, so we need to do the Monty Hall Python problem. The Monty Hall Python correctly. Good work. Um, and Arrakis says, I Love Bees was the ARG for Halo. The ARG for Halo. Oh, yeah! I used to have a shirt that said, Hello, do you like bees? And if you wear a shirt that says, Hello, that you do you like bees? People on, like, public transit and stuff will talk to you about bees. It's exciting and or terrifying, depending on your perspective. Giant Spatcher says, Monty Hall's Flying Game Show. True! And Soul Foundry says, I legit pick the same one each time and it's definitely not 33 to 50% of winning. Interesting. Froggy Friend says, like, the original Halo? It was, I, yeah, it was like Halo 2 or Halo 3, I can't remember. The Shrinkinator! I can't do the, uh, the, the voice that I'm supposed to do for any kind of innator, but just, we've got the Shrinkinator. From, uh, Perry the Platypus show, Phineas and Ferb, and his name is Doofenshmirtz. Took a while, I just had to link up those, um... Find the right nodes to kind of link up that neural path to get to the word Doofenshmirtz. Giant Spatch says, thank you. Use an, an overcharged sparklight solenoid. This device realigns molecules to, occules to occupy one one hundredth of their original space. I see. Pierogi Frenzy says, what happened to Piotr? Synapse Connection Simulator. A great new game jam game. True. Giant Spatch says, the tri-state area. A platypus? There's so many good ones. Listen. Oh. It's a passive gadget? Soul Foundry says, I used to have the best Perry the Platypus shirt. Oh, I do love Perry the Platypus. What a good show. Orange? Can I see any other ones? Arrakis says, I only know Phineas and Ferb through the now defunct AR game at Epcot. Oh my god, second AR game. So far, he says, it was just his glare, no outline. It's just a bluish shirt glaring. And Arrakis says, and also, I think the Bowling for Soup guy wrote the theme song. He plays it at concerts. I can do this. Interesting. 
into the poop pipe. Right, uh, Progi Frenzy says, ah, I've reached the best part of a 4X game. Muskets versus stealth bombers. That always is fun when there's just a, a huge discrepancy like that. Wait. Oh, we gotta put it back. That's right. And then we get the blueprint. I remember. Alright, we got the Shrinkinator blueprint. And we have a place to put it, too. When we get back. So that's good. Hey, this is going great. This run. Uh, let's go to the right. Look out for the man. And the, the stinky flowers. Stop being such a weird tree! Ooh, I'm injured. How can I address this? Not safely here. Hey, this is for you. Oh no! God, that was a mistake. Uh, I don't have any more heals. I have a Founder's Onk, though. Maybe he'll drop some health? No. Araki says, the ultimate game challenge, remembering to not spend all your money before buying the Shrinkinator. True! And Soul Foundry says, I upgraded my weapons uh, thing first. Now I have no monies and empty benches. Oh no! Story of my life. TBH. Leave me alone. Oh, there's a little man in the ground. We gotta get him. Okay, here's the thing. Is Okay, so that was my Founder's Ankh. If we go in here... There should be health, because there will be a boss, but probably we'll get owned. Here's what I think we gotta do. First, bully this man. Did you find Margo yet? Oh no, good point, we should look for her. Yep, 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 good idea. There's a little man here somehow. Where is he? Is he like in the ground? Let's. Oh, okay. Well, that sort of worked for some reason. And Giant Spatter says it's always moral to bully men. True. Yeah, get back into your own universe, Rocksteady. Remember when we saw the Rocksteady hero clicks? That was a good day. Good day. Now I am almost dead. Do you think we'll be able to back out if we go to that boss? What dinged in here? Unclear. Herak says, try it for science. True. Let me just do this couple of things. Like this. Soul Foundry says, I think that was a meanie room. And Giant Spatch says, science is always compelling. True. That's why they call it science. Chew on that one for a while. Okay, this room, there's going to be a man who's going to shoot me to death. Ah, okay. I'm going to advocate for us going in this room. No, I'm not. We're going to find Margo. God damn it. Don't kill me, 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 don't kill me. This room is safe. This is a danger place! Oh my god, I'm... my controls! Oh, the thing can scrambles up your controls. I get it. I get it. Ah, uh, if you go in the flower, it messes up your controls. Blah. Rude, frankly. All right, first things first. The Shrinkinator. Oh, there's a little man right over there. Oh, it's you. Shush. I don't have to talk to you. Oh. Arexis, also don't forget the guy at the shop gives you a free item each time that I think you haven't been getting. 
Oh, dang. Wait, the guy at the other shop? You're, you're right. I did forget about that. And we can upgrade his place for... Not too much. We can't afford it. Nope. Bronze multi-tool damage patch? Yes. And... That's it. Hmm. Oh, can't afford it. Here's, here's my little plan. More damage. Ah! Oh! That's uncouth. I don't think we need the vault triangulator. Uh, what's the blue patch behind her head? That's a good question. Wait. Three hundred bucks. This patch allows the amount of energy gained by landing. Oh, increase the amount of energy gained by landing blows on enemies. Okay, that's good to keep in mind. And Arrakis says, oh, that doesn't seem that good. Yeah, maybe if we had, like, an item, like, if we were doing the bow and arrow all the time. Let's do one more quick run. We got time. Wait, do I have more money? I do have $175. I don't think I really have anything to spend it on, though. And Raka says, I think the upgrade on the left side of the room makes your batch, your uh, board, your patch board bigger. Ah, oh, yeah, it says it will. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so we'll need that at some point. We could buy this defense patch. Let's save our money. Ready to head down and grab some more spoils? You demon. Let's do it. I didn't get the map again, because I'm dumb and forgot. That's okay. Look, we just gotta go to the east. How hard could that be? More bombs. We got bombs for days, which is great. So the finder says, BOMBS! Oh yeah! Oh hey, it's Monty's Hall! Welcome to Monty's Hall! Yeah. He says, he opens one of the empty ones. So the finder says, freaking Monty! We switch our choice? Ah, better luck next time! Arrakis says, bombs, I hear that's what they set us up to call back to earlier. Ah, oh, true! Somebody set us up the bomb. Oh, I can shrink now. We can finally open that chest. Ow. Foolishness. Froggy friend says bombs hit my balls. True. Very true. Soulfinder says the thing with Monty that gets me is that he costs 10 spark light and that is expensive to me. I'm a cheap old man. I get that. As a cheap old man myself, I understand where you're coming from. Watch this, all the way from downtown. Ah, oh, there's a limited range on that, I guess. Oh no, it just hit this wall there. Ah, uh, we couldn't do it all the way from downtown. All right, that's it. Arrakis, that's <laughs> good one. Oh yeah, nailed it. Listen. Q. 
king of games. This doesn't seem suspicious. I hear him. Where is he? There he is. Fine. Oh, hey, these guys only take two hits now. Oh, that's kind of nice. Went from three to two. I like it. All right, here we go. From all the way downtown. Ready, and we're going to reverse it. <laughs> Bummer. One of these days, we'll nail it. And everybody will say, that was so amazing! not where I want to be. How do I do this? Should we try this? Okay, that does not do what I needed to do. Oh, there's lots of stuff to do in this game, isn't there? Oh, I see. I was looking at his reflection instead of his shadow. Rex says, don't you have a light? I have this thing that lights up the room. I don't have, like, a light, like, a fire. It also... There's these, like, spooky lights at the bottom, which I don't know if they say which of these are turned on. Soulfinder says, I still haven't figured out that cave. I think we need a different item. All right, let's put the bombs back on. So far he says you're about to surpass me in the game. Oh no! Oh yeah! Spoilers ahead. Now hold on. This is a dead end, right? Hmm. Hmm. Okay, I think we go up and then we'll hook around. Nah, that didn't work. Soul Fighter says, I've been playing a ton of MLBB on my phone. I made a lunch friend, so I haven't been able to play this as much. I think that's probably better, to have a lunch friend than to play this game at lunch. Rack says, I've beaten this game, but don't remember, so I don't think I'm saying spoilers. Okay, yeah, 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 no worries. Brogy Friends says, at the end, you kill the sparklight and free the town of its curse. At the end, it turns out the sparklight was very sick. And so was its sister. And so you... No, I can't even. Not even as a joke. I won't. I choose love. I won't do the Evans Remains. Story. Araka says you give the sparklight a good cup of coffee. Delish. The end. Rakus says the siblings also chose love. True! It's all coming together. Good for them. Beep boop boop! Gimme those. So Foundry says, fun fact, they were step-siblings. Oh, that's fine, then. 
That's fine. Is there anything interesting happening in this room that I actually need to fight this guy about? Araka says, ah, the Fire Emblem Fate solution to incest. <laughs> Very good. A tried and true solution to incest. Make them step siblings. All right, I'll bite. Oh my god, it was a mistake. That's okay, we just got healing items. Meaning it was a perfect plan. Soul Foundry says, now I need to play Fire Emblem. And Sam the Geek, hey, welcome, says, do you though? And Raka says, I would not recommend Fates. I do like the player character a lot in it, but the story is, um, hmm. Soulfoundry says, I want a good turn-based game. And Raka says, play SteamWorld Heist. I like the SteamWorld games. I played, um, this is true. The first night that I moved into my first apartment after college, uh, I didn't have any furniture or anything yet, and I was just sitting in basically an empty box of an apartment with, like, a big lazy boy chair that I had brought from, from home. Uh, from my childhood home, basically. And I sat in the big lazy boy chair that first night, and I stayed up, and I played SteamWorld Dig, the first one. And it was pretty good! Pretty good! That's my sad first night at my first apartment memory. Looking back... Not a glorious story. <laughs> On Wiseman says, did you sleep in the chair? I don't think so. I think I had a mattress on the floor. But I can't remember for certain. And On Wiseman says, it sounds nice, TBH. Yeah, it was... It, I just... I'll find a picture of it for next stream. Uh, like, it was literally just an empty box with the chair and my backpack in it. And that was pretty much the apartment. Sam the Geek says everyone has a sad first night alone story. Oh, that's good. I'm I I that's that's a, a relief, honestly. Araka says Heist is like a 2D side scroller tactics game slash with like billiards elements. Oh, I played the beginning of it actually. I'm remembering that now. I play I have it on Switch, I think. And also wearing hats is an important mechanic. I was not a huge fan of the SteamWorld card game, although I did play kind of a lot of it, to be fair. Um, SteamWorld Quest, maybe? I think I liked only a medium amount and didn't end up finishing, but the other ones I liked a lot. Hey, we got another damage patch. Arrakis says, yeah, I didn't like it very much either. SteamWorld Quest. But yeah, the SteamWorld Dig games are great. Oh, good stuff. It was a good game, in retrospect, to stay up late playing all by myself. <laughs> in my sad, empty bachelor apartment. Uh, where are we going? I guess down. Ignore that man. Okay, we could go down here. Oh, this is sealed up now. So that's where we would get the uh, Shrinkinator. I'll work on my uh, Dr. Doofenshmirtz uh, impression for next time. But I need to think about it. Oh. And Giant Spatch says, oh good! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because we'll talk about the Shrinkinator again, I'm sure. And it definitely won't be super cringy. And Giant Spatch says, I would sub again. I would sub again! Alright. Sam the Geek says, can you kill these saws? I kind of feel like probably not. You know what, let's just go in here. F it. I was going to say, let's go look for the two people to get the map, but we haven't even found one of them yet, so let's just go in here. Welcome to the Throat of Despair. No! Immediately set upon by dorks. Nope, okay. This I don't like. We need to take a moment to heal after this fight. Oh, it didn't work! My big plan! Get out of there! Alright, we got the heals. 
Ooh, a big red boy. Is he gonna spin all over the place? Oh my god, he jumped. Alright, we got this dude. Oh no! <laughs> okay, I can still dash when I'm doing the bomb. Ow. Oh my god, that hurt. In fact, I probably shouldn't have done that, because I'm probably a dead man anyway if he hits me. He's tanky, I'll give him that. Give him a wide berth. Please. Just be dead. Oh, am I supposed to do something with this? Is there something else I'm supposed to notice in this room? That, I think that's just a decoration. I don't know. Will he break it? I'm off the rhythm. Baraka says I think he's just tanky? Okay. Ah, there we go. I need more range upgrades. True. And Wiseford says, I think, I feel like the room transitions are unfair. And Arrakis says, the room transitions in these dungeons is a little unfair, yeah. This game is like an opposite Evans Remains, where you've forgotten that time is in the other direction. Oh, true. Giant's about to redeem. Oh, yeah. We took him down. Uh, we're out of heals. And in terms of other things that we have, we have no other things. Uh, we could put our bombs on. Any heals at the bottom for a job well done. You got the bronze defense patch. That's good. That's something nice we can take out of this. We are about to be murdered, basically wherever we go. There's one. Get that gremlin. And all the enemies have respawned, which I did not need to happen, if I'm honest. Hey. Nope. Oh, oh, another one. Another little dungeon. Let's do it. Hey, we got a heart, too. Soulfinder says, more enemies, more monies. And I should not have looked away at the chat at that exact moment. That's okay. Easy come, easy go. Vis-a-vis -vis the heals. Anything in the boxes? Nope. Here we go. Ah, okay. Interesting. Giant Spadger says YOLO, but it's hit points. <laughs> exactly. Nice, give me your money. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, we owned his face. What an idiot. Money, money, money. Oh, we got a, another patch. Please? You got the bronze gadget power patch. Okay, we're getting some patches, we're getting some, some monies. It's going pretty good, frankly. More 
money for me. Yeah, we're getting a ton of money this time, actually. It's going pretty good in that regard. Pretty much every other metric we're not doing so hot, but that's okay. Oh, I'm a fool. <laughs> the timing was perfect. Exquisite gameplay. Here's the thing. I feel like this is a pretty safe guy for us to fight. Famous last words. Uh, so let's just stand here and own this guy and maybe he'll drop some health. You know, you never know. Nope. Okay, don't fight the bee. Don't engage him. Don't look at him. No! Oh! This is where I die. I can feel it already. Got him! Health? Items? Health items? Oh, no, this is where I actually die. Go, get out of there! Raka says you're getting too good at this game! Unkillable! Don't even say it. I've been cursed. Oh! That's interesting. Oi! Let me cover up your UI! Says the, the stupid idiot dwarf. Ruining my life. Okay, please don't do that. Not the UI, the UI is covering up the screen. BAM! Huzzah! Good on ya! Arrakis is unkillable! And Soulfighter says, yeah, I love this guy! He's huge! Thanks, mate! Oh yeah! The gremlins trapped me in here and I wouldn't clear-cut these woods for them! They just want to chop and burn everything in sight! No respect for life! I'm Teddy, the caretaker of these woods! But look at me, I can't even take care of myself, let alone these woods! Ah, Teddy! I'm heading up to the refuge to try to help protect Jodia from a safer distance. Come see me if you'd like to lend a hand. Stay safe, mate. Okay, he's going upstairs. Where did he say he was going? The refuge, okay. No, 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 no. No, 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 free me. This is the ultimate challenge in this game, escaping from this dialogue. All right, we got a man. Free me. Oh! Pursued by bees. Brogy Frenzy says, My acid reflux meds say to take before I eat, but I take them after because I enjoy a challenge. Very good. Alright, now we're gonna get killed on this screen that we just came from. Guaranteed. Oh my god, that was deeply dangerous. Let's go in. F it. Boss fight. Let's go look at the boss! Agreed. Yeah, we weren't gonna get much further anyway. Strong agree. And we can't go back, it is confirmed. Alright, boss time. Nope. Oh, jeez. That seems pretty safe. Timbert! There's one. <laughs> I didn't expect it. There's two. Look out. There's three. No! Oh, wow, it's so close. Araka says, I remember liking this cool wood mech. Ah, bummer. We had him on the ropes, too. It would have been nice to get him in the first try. Good first attempt, yeah. Now we know about the hammer. 
Well, there you go. Let's let's call it here for today. We'll come back tomorrow. Mega frown. Oh no. <laughs> we'll come back tomorrow and do our kind of uh, our little business that we got to do here at the uh, at the old homestead as we start off. Um, but for now, let me just say, if you watched any of this stream live tonight, we're just wrapping up super fast. Thank you so much for watching live. Uh, and if you watch this as a recording or on YouTube, thank you so much for watching that way too. And until next time, I will see you later.